Hello, hello, my name is Callista, and welcome back to the Blackwell Legacy. In the last episode, we were investigating the suicide of a young college student. We had just interviewed her roommate, and we were going to see if the RA had anything else he could tell us about Joanne. Hmm? Hi, it's me again. You have more questions, I imagine? Yeah, is that okay? I suppose so. What do you want to know? Thank you. Yeah, we can ask about her roommate and Joanne's habits. What can you tell me about Joanne's roommate? Kelly, have you met her? Yes. Quite a sight, huh? But don't judge her by that. She's the sharpest kid you'll ever meet. She gets straight A's on everything. Really? Yep, she's pre-med. Hmm, okay, impressive. Do you know if Joanne had any trouble sleeping? I'm afraid I wouldn't. Her roommate, Kelly, never complained, but that's not surprising. Why is that? Well, Kelly rarely spent the night in her room. She only comes here to study, as far as I've seen. Ah, okay. Was Joanne a good student? I don't think she had any problems, but of course, the pressure can get to anybody. Do you know where Kelly was sleeping? No, it's not my place to ask. Okay. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for helping out. Just remember, leave my name out of it. Yeah, ab absolutely, absolutely. However, that means that Kelly was lying. Um, can we, can we click these? Oh! All I know about Joanne is that she was an NYU student who killed herself. We, we can pair these up, in which case, um... Wait a minute. Something isn't right. If Kelly's been spending her night somewhere else, how can she know if her roommate was sleeping well or not? Hmm. I think Kelly was lying to me. Oh, girl. Girl. I caught you in a lie, girl. Uh, which room was it? This one. Yeah? Your RA told me that you haven't been sleeping in your dorm. Yes, so? You told me that Joanne slept in her room every night. So? How would you know Joanne slept here if you've been sleeping somewhere else? Huh? Oh, well, I just assumed. Did you lie to me? I didn't lie. I just... Oh, screw it. You want to talk? Fine. What do you want to know? Thank you, because she was stonewalling us before. So what was Joanne really like? To be honest, there's nothing to say. She was studying political science, which is kind of cool, I guess. But she was so vanilla. Vanilla? You know, sweet, but not much there. Just a typical college kid, acting just like everybody else. She seemed proud of it. Okay. So nothing unusual about her. That's how I'm going to take that. Did Joanne act unusual before she died? Well, no. Although the last few weeks she's been talking in her sleep. What did she say? No idea. Couldn't understand her. She swore up and down that she wasn't doing it. She looked a bit scared, though. Scared? How so? Just scared. I didn't need the drama, so I've been sleeping at my boyfriend's place. So you weren't here when she... Killed herself? No, I wasn't here. N not that it would have made much of a difference. Are we done? I do find it kind of sad that this girl kills herself and everyone's reaction has been, well, well, I couldn't have stopped her. Like, no one said, oh, I'm so sad for her i feel really bad about this everyone's just trying to wash their hands of the situation and that that's kind of sad i could really use a photo of joanne if you have one hmm. all right just a sec this was hers it was on her desk thank she you she won't be needing it anymore joanne's the girl on the left thanks can you tell me anything about adrian the ra he's okay he helps us out when we need it, and keeps out of our way when we don't. It's the way it should be. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Why do you want to know? Just background info for the paper. I don't think so. Suit yourself. Okay, that's, that's everything asked. Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure, whatever. I'm, I'm gonna assume we have enough to go home now, because we haven't had any new options for Adrian. What do you think, Rosa? Ugh. Ooh. This is getting worse. 
At least I have enough for the story now. I Good. better get home. Okie doke. Uh, to the apartment, please. Oof. This is getting bad. Do you need an aspirin or, um, Joanne's photograph? I would like to take a look at that, please. Uh, it said Joanne is the girl on the left. So this, this is Joanne. I don't want to ruin the picture. Oh. According to Kelly, this girl on the left is Joanne. She looks happy. I assume that this is a friend of Joanne but I have no idea who she is. I assume that this is a friend okay. of Joanne, but I have no idea who she is. Yeah, she she looks happy. She had friends. Doesn't look like the type of girl who would throw herself off a building. That, oh. As I said, I just feel really bad that no one seems to care that she's died. Everyone's busy covering their own asses. Oh my God. This really hurts. Sleep, that's all I need. I'll just type up the story and get to bed. Shouldn't take that long. Okay. My computer. It's a bit old, but it lets me access the internet and do my writing. Yeah, as, as someone who gets cluster migraines, I... I feel you there. Write your article, do some writing, do research. Ooh. No, I can't find any information about Joanne. I want to no go through all of, of this. Suicide yet. If it just happened this morning, I doubt that anyone would have published it yet. Nope. No information about Adrian. No. No information about Kelly. Okay. Then let's write the article. Right. No more interruptions. Done. Article's finished, picture is scanned, and I am done for the day. No. What's... Oh, that picture flashed. What is happening? It's gone. The pain. It's gone. That was strange. It was like... Like... What is that? The photo. Something is different about it. I almost don't want to look, but... Ah, uh, Joey, I presume? No, no, no! I did not just see that. I am not going crazy. No, it's just the stress, that's all. Auntie's death, work, life... I just need a rest, that's all. do that so griff long time no see how's tricks right thought as much blackwell dames always sleeping you're always sleeping and i'm always watching creepy yep that's me the eternal chump Mmm. It's about time. Hey, nap time Nelly. Wake up. What? Ahem. <clears throat> Shall we try this again? No. Now that's not very polite. Go away. I'm afraid I can't do that, darling. Believe me, I've tried. No, you don't exist. Oh, yes, I do. Look at me. This is not happening. This is not happening. Oh, brother. I am not going insane. There is nothing there. Could you? No. I am not my aunt. I am not my grandmother. I am not going to end up like that. Listen. Get out of my head. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. Could you? Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. 
No, you shut up. You're gonna listen. And you're gonna listen good. I've been watching you all day, sweetheart. You know who I am. No. Yes. I'm not going away, so there'd be no point in beating around the bush. Now say my name. No! Damn you, you know my name, now say it! You're... Yes? You're... Joey? Good girl. You got it in one. Now turn around and look at me. I... Don't worry. I won't bite. Couldn't even if I wanted to. Hi there. Um... Accepting response, unaccepting response, confrontational response. Oh, I... I think she's still in a state of disbelief. You can't be real. You're just a stress-induced hallucination. Yeah, sure. Think about your aunt and grandmother and say that again. So who are you? I'm Joey Malone, and I'm the family spirit guide. What? Think of me as the Blackwell legacy, darling. I'm passed down from one generation to the next, like a family heirloom. First your grandmother got stuck with me, then your aunt, and now you. State the obvious, question his origins, reaffirm your sanity. Yeah, where did you come from? That's my question. Why did you get lumbered with my grandmother, you know? Where did you come from? That's a long, long story, dollface. And we've got more important things to do. Why have you been haunting my family? Haunting? Is that what I'm doing? That's a real ugly word. Answer me, why are you here? You got me, sweetheart. I've been wondering why me and why your family since this whole gig started. Must be some kind of gift your family has. A gift? You're a medium. A medium with a direct connection with the spirit world. And I, my dear, have the unique pleasure of being that connection. I don't... I don't understand any of this. Oh, you will, babe, you will. It took your aunt a while, but she got the hang of it. Your grandmother never really caught on. That's probably why... Why what? Why she didn't last long. But that's something we can talk about later. You felt something today, didn't you? Felt something? Yeah. You felt sick to your stomach, I saw you. I've been feeling sick all day. And where did it start? NYU, Bellevue Hospital, Nashanti, Washington Square Park. It was by the dog run. That was where we got our first headache. You mean the dog run? Yeah, that's where we've got to go. What, right now? Yep, the sooner the better. But it's the middle of the night. So you've just had a nice nap. You should be ready for action. I'm not going out to Washington Square Park in the middle of the night. Well, that's where you're wrong. If there's any reason behind this medium business, it's to take care of problems like your dog park. And we have to take care of them soon. Brush off response, overwhelmed response, whiny response. This is all too much. I've got to sleep on this. Sorry, kiddo. We gotta go now. What's the hurry? Let me put it another way. Do you want to end up like your aunt and grandmother? Oof. Was that because of you? Did you do that? Not me, kid, not me. I didn't make him that way, and I don't know what did. But do you really want to sit around here and find out? Disbelief, confusion, acceptance. Yeah, confusion. Maybe I am going crazy. Maybe I'd prefer going crazy. Sorry, sugar, you're totally sane. Deal with it. I can't believe this is happening. Believe it. Fine. Let's go. That's the spirit. After you. How kind. That was strange. Everybody just ignored you. Am I the only one who can see you? Yep, and hear me. So keep your voice low. Oh yeah, this is the spot. Can you see it? I don't see anything. Can we go? Come on, this way. Hey, wait! Don't worry, I can't travel far from you. It goes against the rules, whatever they are. Now look inside there, and look close. What am I supposed to see? Just wait. It'll come. Oh. Hello. Wait, I see something. Who is that? That's what we're here to find out. I'll talk to the spook. You can stay here. Okay. 
a young woman, now, watch I think. And learn. Why so down, beautiful? Yeah, it's a young woman. Ah. I'm a bit out of practice. How should I handle this? Be firm, be glib, be charming. Oh, I'm gonna go for be charming. However, I just wanna say, um, I, I have a couple of questions about this and I'm hoping the game will give me this information in time. Why did Rosa's grandmother suddenly become a medium? Because this isn't like a, a multi-generational thing going back hundreds of years. This started with our grandmother. This is a recent development. So why did we randomly become mediums? Um, two, why did we get assigned you? As I said, I want to know where Joey comes from. I do like Joey. He, oh, he seems like quite a fun character, but he also seems kind of annoying in that, you know, I know everything, I'm always right, you need to listen to me kind of way. So I'm, as awful as it is, I'm kind of hoping Be Charm fails, just because I want Rosa to kind of learn I can do things on my own, you know, that kind of thing. Hey, don't be like that. If there's one thing I hate, it's seeing a pretty girl cry. Let her be, stay firm, work the charm. Oh God, Joey. You're leaving so soon? I thought we were getting along. They all run. It's so hard to hold on. It's me. It's me, they won't stop. Explain your business, calm her down, try to make sense of it. Who won't stop, kid? Try and concentrate. Explain everything so we can help you. Help. Help. He wants me to help him. But I want to help them. Don't they know that? Help who? Can't. Can't. They run away. We won't run away. No. The dogs. No, we're sick. He poisoned us. Got into our head and poisoned us. Whatever happened, darling, it's over. You do know that, don't you? No. I'm poisoned. Stay away or I'll poison you. Run. Run away like all the others. She's talking about the dogs. They mentioned that the dogs all started running away from the dog run. She just wants to pet a dog before she crosses to the other side. Uh, stand your ground, charm her out of it, give it right back to her. You're beautiful when you're angry. Oh, Has God. Anyone told you. Slap no. him. You won't trap, trap me again. again. Again? He made everyone go away. There is nobody else. You're him. Who? Him. Now look, darling, sweetheart. Leave me. Hey. Leave. All right. We're going. Look, just sit tight. We'll figure this out, and we'll be back. Friggin' ghosts. Can't get a straightforward answer out of any of them. What just happened? What just happened is we've got an unstable spirit on our hands. Haunting that dog park over there. You wondered why the mutts don't like it here? That's the reason. There's a ghost haunting the dog park. That's what I said. A ghost. Sure. What am I doing here? I told you. No. No. I really should go to bed. Hey, wait a sec. Yeah, sleep. I shouldn't be here. Oh, for the love of Pete. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, Joey. She is not just gonna blindly follow your instructions, mate. Ooh. Day two. Uh, what an odd dream. Oh, I'm sorry, my dear. Good morning, bright eyes. Uh, you're still here. Wouldn't be anywhere else. Has anybody told you that you snore? Deny it, throw it in his face, get suspicious. Have you been here all night? Where else am I gonna go? I can't leave your side, doesn't matter if you're asleep or not. So this is going to be my life from now on? Pretty much, yeah. You're going to follow me around for the rest of my life. 
That's how it works, as far as I can tell. Great. Just great. Hey, it ain't all a bed of roses for me either, dollface. You think I chose to be shackled to your family for the last 40 years? Your grandmother refused to accept it, and look what happened to her. And auntie? She... made a mistake. What kind of mistake? Hey, what is this, 20 questions? What's with the third degree? Assert your rights, play for sympathy, get suspicious. We, we have a right to know these things, I feel. I have a right to know. No, you want to know. There's a difference. I don't have to tell you squat. Look, this isn't easy, you know. You're a ghost? Fine. I'm a medium? Fine. My whole life is turned upside down? Fine. But you could at least meet me halfway. You've accepted it, you say? So far, yes. You've only seen a taste of it. Are you ready to go all the way? What do you mean? Ready to see what's out there. Ready to see what this is all about. Positive response, incredulous response, bitter response. Oh. I'm not inclined to go with positive. I think, yeah, I think maybe Rosa is feeling bitter. You know, she had her life ahead of her. Then she gets told about like, oh, hereditary dementia. Then she discovers, no, it wasn't. It was ghosts. And now you're tied to this one guy for the rest of your life. Cause like dating is gonna be a hassle with this dude. If Rosa wants to start a family, then she has the knowledge that this guy is watching her do it. That would be creepy as hell. It's not like I have a choice, right? No, you don't. So what is it? I don't have to tell you. It's best if I show you. Hmm. Here, take a hold of this. I can touch it? Yeah, the only part of me you can touch, unfortunately. It kind of tingles. What is it? The stuff of life. Or death. I've never quite worked it out. What now? Now you pull. Pull the tie? Yeah, pull. Okay. Oh my god. Where have you taken me? Relax. Take your time. It's a lot to take in at once. What is this place? It's the doorway to infinity, darling. Out there, in the distance, the next world. The next plane of existence. The gossamer threads that separate this world from the next. Whatever you want to call it, it's all out there. How did we get here? We're inside your head. You mean I'm dreaming? No, I mean we're literally inside your head. Remember those headaches you had yesterday? Yeah. That was your power awakening. Or to be more specific, it was this place, forcing its way into your mind. Okay. Push for specifics, inquire about your head, ask about safety. I get the feeling that Joey doesn't actually know as much as he's trying to present. I, I think he's just as confused about this as, you know, her grandmother and her aunt were. Like, obviously he'll have more information than us just because he's been doing it for 40 years, but it I don't think he knows much. I don't think he knows the ins and outs. Hmm. Is that dangerous? Maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure I like this. Well, like it or not, we're here. So what does this place actually do? It's sort of a transfer point or node. It connects the mortal world with the next. You bring spirits into this place, and then send them on their merry way. That's it. Well, there's a bit more to it than that. I thought as much. You see, many ghosts aren't as lucid as myself. Most can barely tell you their own names, let alone tell you what's wrong. Near as I can figure, they have to come to terms with their... departure. Before they can actually depart. You dig me so far? You dig, you don't dig. Yeah, I, I understand what you're saying. I think so. The ghosts don't know they're dead. Yeah, yeah, right. So, we have to help them accept it. Once they accept their death, they are much more willing to move on. That's my job, see? I talk to the spooks. They trust me more because I'm one of them. You do the legwork. See? Anyway, I know you have some questions about this place, so go ahead and ask them. 
Ask about the park ghost, ask about Joey's status, ask about the tie, no more questions. What about that ghost in the park? The one from last night? Why didn't we bring her here? First of all, I didn't think you were ready. And secondly, that ghost was too lost and confused. When a ghost is like that, I can't just force the tie into their hands. It won't work, don't ask me why. They have to know they're dead first. Your aunt called it, uh, being spiritually ready. What about you? Can you go through that hole and move on? I wish, darling. But I can't. I've tried before, but it just spits me back out. I'm stuck here, whether I like it or not. You're wearing your tie again. How did that happen? Not sure. Near as your aunt and me figured, the tie is just an extension of whatever power brought us here. It's not a real physical tie. No more than I am a real physical person. But that makes no sense. Look, just accept it, dollface. Forget logic. For you, logic went out the window the day I appeared in your bedroom. There ain't no instruction manual for this. Your aunt and me just figured it out as we went along. And that is the game developers saying, please don't question this too hard, just roll with it, please. And I'm content to roll with it. Are you okay, Joey? Me? I'm dandy. You don't look alright. Uh, it's just this place. I don't like it. Probably because I don't belong. Maybe someday, but not now. I think I've learned enough. You sure? Yeah. Alright, let's get out of here. That was a really cool design. I like that. Welcome back. Ugh. Take it easy. It's a little disorientating. I'm fine. So what now? Go back to the park and bring her to... that place? You got it. And how do we do that? There are three steps. First, we have to find out more about her. Second, we use that information to get through to her, convince her that she's dead. And three, help her move on. Ask about discovering a ghost's identity, ask about convincing a ghost that it's dead, ask about exercising the ghost. Okay, so I did have a couple of points to mention on the ghost in the park. One, I know she mentioned a him, and at first I thought she was talking about Joey. No, there's a, there's a second him, him that poisoned her. So I think we're gonna have to find out about that too. We need to bring Moti to the park. I know this, I, we, we let her pet the dog, she realizes that she can't pet the dog. She like, I I am on this girl's wavelength. I could see that being something that ghost me would do. Just I want to pet one last dog before I go. I, I love dogs so much. How do we find out more about her? She could be anybody. Not necessarily. That picture you got, the one of the three girls? That blonde girl is either the ghost in the park or her twin sister. Ah. Accusatory response, suspicious response, confirmation response. Um, if, if we can confirm that. You sure? She's a dead ringer. No pun intended. Hmm. How do we convince ghosts that they're actually dead? That's the tricky part. Near as I can figure, we need to remind the ghosts who they are. Their death was too traumatic or too violent or too emotional that their little spirit minds snapped. So we need to do whatever we can to bring them back to themselves. And how do we do that? Usually by finding something that has a personal significance to them. Like Could a be dog. an object, a piece of information, or even another person. So we need to know more about the ghost in the park. You're a writer, yeah? Think of this as the ultimate character study. How do we help a ghost move on? With my magic tie, dear. I give one end to the spook, the other end to you. You pull the ghost in, and you send them on their way. You don't come in with me? No, sorry. That's your job. Okay, okay. The blonde girl is dead. Looks like it. And this other girl, Joanne, she's dead too. Yep. What's going on? That, my dear, is our bread and butter. What else can we do to learn more about the ghost in the park? The photo, dear, it's the biggest clue we have. Okay, um, that is highly suspicious. We've got a photo of three girls and two of them are dead. That, mm, I, I don't like that. Yeah, we've asked all of these. I think I've heard enough. Yeah, let's get going. Okay, um, very quickly, I want to look at these. I knew Jamie it. crashes yet another photograph. He doesn't look happy. 
No, but Lauren is looking at him. Hmm. And the Christmas picture. Yeah. Joey crashes yet another photograph. That's why she looks so nervous. She knows that he's he's standing over my shoulder. He's looking at me. Just don't look at him. Oh, I I like that touch. I like that Joey has appeared in all of the other photos. Oh, that is that is cool. Okay. So I am just about out of time for this episode. In the next, hopefully we can figure out what is going on with this ghost. But until then, please remember to like if you enjoyed, leave a comment below. And if you wanted to subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. I've been Callista. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode. <laughs>